shock when the, what, what is the, our uh, life, which is going out to play live music for people, when that suddenly was ended. But um, I mean, on the other hand, I've, I've, you know, that's what we are, we've learned to do, is improvise and, and deal with unexpected situations and, you know, I've, I managed to, I think I, I coped quite all right. I, I, I didn't, I missed playing, I missed being with friends and or meeting new people, but it was also a time of, you know, of thinking about what I'm doing and practicing. And, but it was obviously a huge relief when the first concert started again. And it felt was, it was like, you realize again how important it is for and i never really got into this uh this the uh, streaming stories which some people organized to keep the things going and i mean a nice idea but I, for me it was strange just to sit in an empty room and play for a microphone mm -hmm. or a camera For me, the, the, um, the music for the creative work, I quite enjoyed <laughs> the fact that I didn't have to travel much and could work on my music. I could, you know, practice a lot. And I started uh, practicing drums and piano, of course, and then I also, you know, started dealing with music and reflecting a lot of things. That was actually a good chance, a good opportunity to reflect on your music quite a bit. And uh, well, as it progressed, as it went on and on, you know, <laughs> there was frustration coming in, in the, because you somehow felt you were disconnected somehow, you know, from, from music as a social uh,
fortunate in that a lot of people, vulnerable, more vulnerable people could have become extremely unwell and a lot of people died and, and a lot of people lost their livelihood in a way that they'll never recover from. Yeah. Um, but we were very lucky in Berlin and at least the first lockdown for me was a wonderful time to, to, to take a break from everything and uh, practice and... Yeah. You know, I, I didn't feel obliged to do a lot of things that I didn't necessarily want to do. Yeah. Um, but it's been a slow sort of up and down of getting back to gigs. Like, for, I mean, for example, in October, I, I, this even this year, like, my October is totally dead, but November and December are full. Yeah. And maybe that's not, maybe that's the way things were before, but I don't really remember anymore. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, it was uh, uh, a talk. It was uh, yeah, a new, a new way to think. You know, because I think it looked at some, some okay, that's a really kind of occasion to change something. Yes. You can take the time and to change something in your place. All the musicians came here and said, okay, it's cool, it's a cool place, it's a nice place. Um... And what about this music in particular, this provided music, which is a difficult style? For me it's important to have this thing, okay, um, to have this kind of music here, because um, they're looking for somehow new ways. And okay, this is not, um, when you say, we have a lot of uh, guests here and they leave a lot of money and uh, I think this is not a kind of music you have to look for the, the economical success here because it's really special but um, for me it's important to have something like this here to have it like an even for the other musicians to say okay my friend come here and listen once yeah you have to listen and maybe you can to find something for yourself
worldwide situation, especially life of freelancers, but I think it goes for anybody, is all just instable now. And I think we experienced over the last two years a worldwide instability where everything was thrown off the rails and we all had to survive and figure out how to move forward, how to stay positive for artists, how to stay creative through this crazy last couple of years. Now we feel a breath of relief that Corona seems to be somehow lifting, getting easier. But yeah, now we're faced with a war going on pretty much next door. And of course, the prospect of other pandemics coming up, everything now just feels like who knows where the future is going to go. now intensively because of the pandemic we, we were all our concerts were made by streaming as well in these last two years and it's quite in interesting i mean the energy is a bit different of uh, playing a concert with audience yeah but even though uh, i think it's interesting to, to see a streamed live concert actually and yeah it's a different experience totally
I also enjoyed my downtime. I also practiced and made a lot of music and had time to myself like never before. Um, but I like to think about all the victims a lot and uh, the vastness and the tragedy that came with it and um, all the people that were not in privileged situations. And you never know exactly what to believe or not but if I'm thinking about cities, mega cities in China that are locking down 20 million people, welding down their doors, so they can't even, they're starving in their own homes, they're patrolling streets. Um, I think a lot about, I think more about that probably than about the benefits that I got. Guten Abend. Heute spiele ich mit erstmal zum ersten Mal mit dem super Schlagzeuger Moritz Bam. Ich freue mich ähm, zu spielen und ich hoffe, Sie haben Spaß. Viel Spaß!
after the wall came down, it was a little bit confusing the situation, and but afterwards uh, we had quite a good period of concerts and going abroad without no wall, no, no customs, no control. And this lasted for, I can say, 20 years nearly, or even more. And all of a sudden came another enemy. The enemy of a disease, the enemy of COVID, COVID-19, this virus that was, that blocked nearly all cultural activities. So also musicians activity. And what did that mean? That all musicians who were working freelancing without any employment, without any getting paid by the state, by an orchestra, by the radio, by uh, by a theatre. No freelancing musicians, young and old like me, um, were blocked and we couldn't uh, jump on stage anymore. They started to invent a new system of playing music, like in a concert, uh, but without any listeners, without people. The so-called, uh, how was it called? I did it also twice. Stream. Uh, the, uh, uh, how was this called? Streaming. Ah, streaming, yeah, right, streaming. <laughs> streaming, playing streaming concerts with it. A camera and microphones, but no people, no people. And for um, some of those musicians, it was the last possibility to survive as a musician who is playing. Those concerts were uh, sponsored and supported by state money and, and money of uh, the countries and and this was the one and only possibility for many, many, many musicians. But I don't know if all of them who did it uh, are very lucky and are uh, satisfied to play concert without people's atmosphere. We musicians, we live playing jazz musicians, in a way we depend also on all those vibrations that are coming towards us on stage from people who came to listen to our music.
freuen wir uns, dass wir heute mal wieder live bescheiden können. Auf jeden Fall. Von der <lacht> Ja, ey, das möchte ich auch ehrlich gesagt nicht nochmal an. Mhm. So diese Zeit, wo man okay. nicht mehr spielt. Ne? Ja, das war die erste lange Phase, war so sieben Monate um live spielen. Und da habe ich dann gedacht, habe ich dann, seit ich angefangen habe, auch nur semi-professionell, auch nur ambitioniert zu spielen, hatte ich nie so eine lange Phase, wo nichts passiert war. Das war einfach wirklich so, was ist jetzt los? Mhm. Mhm. Ja, mhm. sieben Monate hast so. also du. Also zwischen der ersten und zweiten Lockdown, Lockdown, Lockdown war, ich bin, doch, der erste Lockdown war aber so lange, meine ich. Also, ich das ist schon wieder so her, ich meine, das alles erfolgreich verdrängt und ist ja auch im Hier und Jetzt schon wieder weg verloren. Aber ich muss mal gucken, ob wir ja, da waren lange. Eigentlich der zweite lange. eigentlich sogar noch länger? Mhm. Eigentlich der zweite so lange. Ich werde nicht ganz so Oh Gott, muss ich mal schnell nachgucken. Irgendwie sind wir immer noch in so einem Lockdown. Mhm. In so einem emotionalen. Ja. <lacht> genau, zwischen äh, hektischen Nachholeffekten und Synthesorientierung, die geblieben ist, äh, ich bin das schon noch mehr. Hm. Ja, gibt es noch irgendwas, was wir so mitteilen können über den... Nö. <lacht> Tja. Vielen Dank. Oh, wie gut ist mein Handy auch. Anwar. Ja, schönen guten Abend, äh, liebes imaginäres Publikum äh, zu unserem Duo-Konzert von dem schlippenbach narwesen duo Mein Schlagzeugpartner Dag Magnus Narwesen. Hier im schönen äh, Terzomondo, wo sich vielleicht ein neuer Ort für unsere Musik, den progressiven Jazz, etablieren könnte. Danke.
think it's over? Well, we, we have lots of anti-genes in our blood, so yeah. we are prepared to fight better than yeah. two and a half years ago. Yeah. Antibodies. Anti lots and lots of spikes. Yeah. In the thousands. Spikes everywhere. I, I, I'm, I might go that far and say I could I could hear it in your plane tonight. The spikes, that you have a lot of spikes and uh, antibodies flowing. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, this time, of course, was hard for everyone, but it was the month of lockdown had also for me an opportunity because suddenly all appointments gone, no gig, no rehearsal, no nothing, I shouldn't even go out so it, suddenly I had time and it was somehow beautiful to have suddenly spare time to so thoughts came up which need time, which need space to come up. So I didn't mind, I, so I enjoyed somehow that, that dimension, I, I, I enjoyed somehow. <laughs> Die große Frage ist, was jetzt in der Zukunft kommt, wenn der Sparhammer, äh, weil das ist ja noch nicht ausgetankt, muss man mal sehen, ob das dann weitergeht, äh, so wie wir uns das alle erhoffen, oder ob jetzt irgendwie, jetzt ist ja das Stimmste vorbei, dann können ja alle wieder, das gilt auch so für Läden wie hier, also Leute, die Dinge veranstalten, von denen wir im Grunde auch abhängen, weil wenn es keine Orte gibt, an denen wir spielen können, ja. äh, dann äh, können uns, äh, ja, dann nützt keine Förderung, nichts, kein Kulturgeld nützt was, wenn es keine Orte gibt. Ne? Das darf man nicht ja. vergessen. Die Orte werden weniger. Die Leute gehen mittlerweile auch nicht mehr so viel aus wie vor Corona. Das heißt, auch das Publikum wird letztendlich weniger. Zum Teil trauen sich die Leute nicht, zum Teil haben sie sich auch wirklich regelrecht abgewöhnt, in Konzerte zu kommen. Und das wird jetzt wieder ein langer Prozess, die, das Publikum zurückzugewinnen und denen klarzumachen, dass es sich lohnt, die Wohnung zu verlassen abends. 
Aber ja, wir hoffen das Beste. <lacht> genau. Ja. ja, ich war früher auch öfter mal in Kneipen. <lacht> Jetzt nicht mehr? Äh, ja, doch, ab und zu, wenn ich mir so viel. Even for me, it wasn't the beginning of the lockdown. It wasn't important to think about the money and to say, okay, do I have to sell because I'm a restaurant? I have to make uh, my to-go food and uh, whatever. I wanted to make the concerts. And I said in the beginning, okay, we start and make, um, they can, with donations. And I give all the donations to the musicians, whatever it is. And for me, it was important to stay, to keep the, the culture somehow alive. It was for me, this is for me, the, my main thing for this room here. This is not the, I want to be the big, uh, the biggest place in Berlin or whatever, but, but I have to I will give you the, the opportunity for some people that uh, they can sit here and uh, listen to something special. And this, I think even this modern first is, is a very special thing. Yeah.